Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video might be seen and showed. Celine Driver once again bringing you another unboxing and review of a watch that is mine. Um, this was, uh, well, obviously you've seen the title, it's another Zelos. <laughs> um, I think that puts me over 50 at this point, I think. Anyway, um, the, the purchase was not really intended to happen. I, I was not going to buy this particular Mako. I already had bought the, um, the uh, Malachite which you have seen in a previous video. I was um, scrolling through the Zelos Timekeepers forum, as I often do uh, on Facebook, you know, just looking to see what people have bought, what's up for sale, what uh, uh, people have um, decided to trade off, etc. And I saw a post from someone that said that um, a Cerakote Mako had just gone back up uh, for availability on the Zelos website. And this post was about 10, 15 minutes old. And I popped over to the Zelos website and lo and behold, um, there it was, <laughs> one available. Um, and the, uh, the old, uh, fo uh, what is it, uh, Fear of Missing Out, uh, FOMO, FOMO, yeah, FOMO, Fear of Missing Out. Uh, kicked in and I bought it <laughs> um, Took a little while to get here, but it is here uh, Featuring the new Zelos uh, leather roll this comes in a cardboard box. I've decided uh, This is my second travel roll Zelos I've decided not to save the cardboard boxes because those things deteriorate anyway so I, I get rid of them so inside the uh, three bay watch roll that snaps closed is well of course you have the Zelos card uh, you have the original Tropic rubber strap now the reason that these come with rubber straps whereas all the other Makos of this run came on bracelets is because the Cerakote coating uh, that would have had to go on both the bracelet and the watch was going to cause fitment issues so Elshin decided to put on a Tropic Rubber strap. Now, I'm not a big fan of Tropic Rubber, so I had in my stash a, um, a Barton FKM rubber strap, and I put it on that instead. So let's put that over there, and slide that down here. And what we have here is the latest generation of uh, Mako, which is the third generation case, um, which has been which has gone through a couple of uh, releases on the Gen Three. Uh, this being the latest one, this is the Cerakote. Now, the reason I like Cerakote is because it, it's a, it's a very nice matte finish ceramic coating over the steel and it looks great i love the matte gray uh, look to it it matches very well with the with the carbon dial i think it's yeah it's a carbon dial and the carbon bezel nice pop of orange on the inner uh minute track which offsets the uh the the the, the gray and the black very nicely signed crown of course Mako Shark Engraving. They only made 150 of these. This is number 126. And it, you know, the, the standard Tropic Strap did come with uh, quick release spring bars, as did this um, Barton Strap. It really um, fits the watch nicely, and it feels good. It's nice and smooth. It's pliable. It doesn't smell funny. Very, it, you know, works very well. 120 click bezel. It's a little tight, obviously, because it is a brand new watch, but it moves very smoothly. It's vocal. 
it locks into place. And of course I overshot, didn't I? And I've got to fix that because of, you know, OCD. And that lines up nicely. Uh, obviously the bezel is fully loomed. It is uh, listed on the website as a carbon, uh, forged carbon bezel, forged carbon dial. It's a 316L stainless steel uh, case under here with a Cerakote coating. Now, this is not the first time that Zelos played with Cerakote. Uh, they did initially make, now on previous videos, I think three, three or four previous videos, I have shown this watch. Hang on. This watch here. This is my Cerakote Sky Raider. This is a prototype. Now, full and fair disclosure, I thought and was led to believe for a long time that this was the only Cerakote Sky Raider out there. I found out recently that there is a second one out there that was recently sold by its original owner. I don't know where it is now, but there are two of these, not one. My mistake, I should have clarified that with Elshin. I did once and he said it's the only one. I guess he made another one or something. But the Sky Raider 2, the ge second generation Sky Raider was originally going to get a Cerakote version. It never happened. Uh, there are only two out there. They're only going to be like 25 anyway, but there are only two. They're both considered to be prototypes. And uh, this is one of them. And I think I can say with some level of safety that I am the only person um, that owns Zelos watches that has two Cerakote watches, a Sky Raider and now the Mako. The Mako is considered to be the first production Cerakote. And they made 150 of them. It's a little, you can see that it's a little bit different coloring. The, uh, the Mako is a little lighter. At the, so there is a bit of a difference in the, in the color of the coating, but they are both indeed Cerakote watches. And no, I'm not selling it. Don't ask. No, I'm not selling this one either. So don't ask that. But this is the first production Cerakote watch that Zeal has done. I mean, it probably won't be the last. I mean, I, I think it's an attractive uh, way to go. And uh, I bet Elshin has ideas uh, for other watches that could uh, go with, uh, you know, next release of uh, Swordfish, for example. Who wouldn't want a Cerakote Swordfish? Because um, it hasn't been done, even though, you know, Swordfishes have been done to death in all kinds of different colorways and case materials and so on. So if you're looking for a, a new idea, Elshin, hey, do a Cerakote Swordfish. I bet they uh, sell real quick. Uh, let's see. It is a sapphire crystal. It has a dome to it, as you can see. The heartbeat of the watch is a Miyota 9015. Now, in this round of releases that this watch came uh, in, there were GMT Makos, so it was a first. This is not a GMT, it's a simple three-hander with a day complication at the six o'clock. The 9015 Miyota is a, uh, is a hand wind and hack movement. Uh, when you unscrew the crown, you can feel it and hear it disengage. First position is the date position. Second position hacks the movement and allows you to set the watch. Push it in, the watch runs, a little pressure on the crown, and it screws down very nicely, very smoothly. Miyota is a, is a solid movement. Uh, you know, I'm sure the uh, the movement uh, snobs out there will say, oh, you paid how much money and it's got a Japanese Miyota movement in it. Yeah, and I think we've gone over this multiple times. You buy micro brands for the design and the unique materials and colors and, and so on and so forth. You want to buy a watch for a movement, you're in the wrong arena. You go buy a Rolex, go buy a Ulysses Nardin, go buy, uh, go buy an Omega with, a, uh, with an ex exhibition case back and, uh, and one of their manual uh, 1861s and 
stare at that thing all day. These are easy to get, they're easy to service, and they work. They just flat out work. Even unregulated, they're, they're, they're good, accurate watches. I'm gonna give you a wrist shot here in a second. Now, this watch on a seven and a quarter inch wrist like mine is maybe a bit on the small side, but it's not terribly small. It's right at the bottom limit for where I like to buy my watches, but as you can see, in the down the barrel shot, it covers the top of my arm very nicely. The overhead shot looks pretty good. Would I would I like it better if uh, it was a 42 or a 43? Yeah, but there is a 42 or a 43 millimeter version of this. It's called the Great White, and I happen to own one. I might own another someday. But this one is a 40 millimeter case, like all, all Makos have been 40s. It's 46 millimeter on the tip to tip. It's a 20 millimeter lug. And it's 11 and a half millimeters thick. And being a dive watch, it is a 300 meter water resistant. So as long as that crown is screwed in and the case back hasn't been compromised, and by the way, the case back is brushed stainless steel with a hint of polish. Uh, uncoated in this case. As long as everything is high and tight, you should get 300 meter water resistance. It's a diveable watch. It's swimmable. Take it snorkeling, take it in the shower, get caught in a rainstorm. Doesn't matter. The watch will keep going. And I really like this watch. Uh, I, I, I am a fan of Cerakote. I like the look. I've always been a big fan. By the way, this is on a leather strap because at the time it was all I had. Maybe someday I'll put it on an FKM strap. But I, ever since I bought this one, actually, my dad bought this watch originally and he wore it for a while and then he passed it down to me um, because his fingers weren't very good at manual winding anymore. Uh, ever since this arrived at my dad's house, I've been a, I've been a big fan of the look of Cerakote. Uh, it really looks great. So I, I hope, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad that Elshin is continuing to work with Cerakote and finally found a way to make the uh, transfer process work to his satisfaction. I, I hope there's more uh, coming down the line uh, someday. But that's for a future. For now, I hope you found this video to be entertaining, useful, informative. If you did, please click that thumbs up button for me. That does help with the YouTube search algorithm and helps draw people to the channel. Comments, questions, suggestions down below. I do read them all. I do respond to them all. However, if you are going to try to troll me or you are going to try to um, insult me, you can try. You won't succeed, but you can try. Or you're going to leave links to bad places on the internet. I'm simply going to delete the comment and block the commenter. If you're new to the channel, of course, welcome. Uh, or if you've been here before, but you have not yet subscribed, uh, I hope you will continue to come back here. I hope you will uh, watch many videos. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos. All I ask in return is that you click that subscribe button at the bottom of the uh, viewing window. And when you do, don't forget to click the bell icon too so that when I upload new material or I do a live stream, you will be alerted to these things. And as I always say at the end of my videos, it is a crazy old world outside. It's not getting any better. If you watch TV or listen to the radio, you know I'm right. So please, when you're out and about, be careful, be safe, be well, see you soon.